mastectomy um, because the risk is so high. Basically, they're like, yeah, if you're gonna have kids, do it. Oh, fuck, we forgot to pull the pork. Classic Nurse Huckleberry. Wild Nurse Huckleberry and gets this pork to fro pork pig to frosted. Let's take a quick word from our sponsors. <laughs> Nurse Huckleberry will be right back after these messages. What turns robots on? For humans only. What turns robots on will turn you on. Call 1-900-500-ROBO. $3 per minute. Call now. Must be 18 or over. And human. I'm waiting. Oh, hi. I'm Shelby. You might recognize me from the hit show, Nurse Huckleberry. For years, my life has been dominated by researching marine facts for the show. But now, thanks to the new Learn In Your Sleep 12 cassette tape box set, finding new facts is a breeze. With just a push of a button, I can now learn in my sleep. Side B. Order yours today for three easy payments of $16.99. Order now and receive a free gift. Gently use toothbrush. Call 1-800-420-1010. That's 1-800-420. 10 out of 10. Side effects may include loss of friends, momentary fact sharing, knowing it all syndrome, and constipation. Wednesday on an all-new Bork Cop. <laughs> Will Bork Cop be able to prove his innocence? Bork Cop. This is going to be a lot of paperwork. Special guest Johnny Two Dicks on a brand new episode of Bort Cop. <laughs> and then I said, choke me harder. Daddy. Welcome back, everybody, to the Nurse Huckleberry stream. Hopefully everyone, everyone's excited for the new Board Cop episode. I am. I'm on the edge of my seat currently and will be until it airs on Wednesday. Dang it. Mm -hmm. I need. You need. I hope no one has to pee because the, the water's, water's going to be, be running. running. Wait. I wonder. What? Did my thing get delivered and we just didn't know? All hospitals oh. except Kiki. What thing? What is it? It's a box. Yeah, I see. It's a box. What kind of box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I'm hoping these work. What are they? What, what are they? Sick unboxing action. Is that what we're doing? What is it? Yeah. Is the address on there? On. Only on this side. Which side? The, the side facing me. Facing you? Yeah. Nice. What, nice. what is it? What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? Is that the passport already? Yeah, yeah. They put. Do you want to go take it off of there and you can show it off? What? What is it? These are just hard to get out. Why are they so big? What is it? Dryers. Oh. Oh. It's lit. Hey, it's Bork Laser. I forgot I got delivered. Well, that was anticlimactic. Sorry, you were all, you know. Yeah, you always order such boring, useful things. Order extravagant, stupid stuff. Look, okay. This just in, Nurse Huckleberry ordered some jars in the mail and they came in the mail and that's boring. More with this, Nurse Huckleberry, make something up. I don't know why you don't like my jars. I love your jars. I said while rolling my eyes. Q. 
cutely. Okay, cutely. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right, you were complaining about the the pantry shelf looking bad, so I got these jars in the hopes that it will make things look better. Uh-huh. And I can put cute little labels on them uh -huh. and put my stuff in there. Look, you had the entirety of chat yeah. bricked up. What do you mean? And now everybody, men, women, and everything in between, blast it. What do you have to what? say about yourself? Is it, you don't like jars? Not for, you don't like not jars. for pleasurable reasons. Look at this. Come with stickers. <laughs> Who puts labels on jars? Nerd! People people have a lot of things that all look the same. All right, more news at 11. More jar news. I find your reaction quite jarring. Come on. You can put a lot of cocaine in those jars. Are those just, the same jars that they use at dispensaries to put weed in there? You can put your weed in there. They look like they'll fit, though. Jar Jar Binks. Except Misa this, need, Misa need more jars. Except this big tall one. I don't know what to do with this. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, I mean, so are they gonna be for food, right? Yeah, I need to wash them. Why don't, why don't we ask a, a chef what, if they're actually viable? If they're useful. Did you even consult our resident chef? What? No, uh, I didn't. Before think your I purchase. To. Why would I need to consult him? I don't know. I'm just curious. Shark on the fridge! Hey. Otto. Oh. Otto, what are you looking at? Oh. What are you... Oh, nurse is so pretty. Oh, come on. You... Oh, she's... Oh, the blue! Okay, back up, Otto. Oh. Otto, I'm gonna need you to back off. Not even the same color blue as you. Pretty close, though. I mean, it's kind of close, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You've been brushing your gums? They look, they look good. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, give me a smile. Hey. Hey. Very cute, Otto. Um, Thank you. You're... <laughs> You're 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 a chef, right, Otto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wanna just wanna make sure everyone's under under Otto, the impression. What? I feel like we've gone over this like <sighs> a bunch. Of... Well, look, there's always new people in chat, and I want to make sure everyone's on the same page. You are the celebrity chef, yeah. Otto the Shark. No, yeah, yeah. Correct. You have yeah, an yeah. upcoming show. It's mm -hmm. airing on the on the the BCC. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's what is it? What the cooking show or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this a specialty show? Like, are you, is it any sort of gimmick or what? No, it's just you know. The Otto show. Wow, yeah. is that the, is that the theme song, or is yeah. that still a work in progress? Well, you know, I keep um, the the execs kept being like, oh, you can't just could just sing it yourself, and I was like, what do you mean? It's perfect. The auto show. That is per okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, the water is yeah. on. Don't pee your pants. Sorry, auto. Uh, anyway, you see right here next to you, you actually knocked one with your head. I don't yeah. know if you felt yeah. that. There's some, uh, do you know what these are? Uh huh. Maybe it'd be better if you, if you did it from this side. Yeah, it looks like a glass jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Great job, Otto. Great job. Mm. Yeah. Um, do, do they look like they would suffice for the shelf? For food? In your expert opinion, of course. Well, I mean, like... Depends on the shelf. Okay, Otto, you know what shelf I'm we talking about. put it in there. There's only... I don't know, Otto. Back up! Oh, You're yeah. making me uncomfortable. I know I wouldn't put cheese okay, in there. Otto... No, wait, wait, no, what? Well, I, I probably wouldn't put, like, cheese. Who puts cheese in a jar onto a shelf, Otto? I don't know. <laughs> Look, we do stuff differently up here above the water. 
It's not 52 degrees in here. It's like 90 right now. It's hot. Do you feel this? You feel good, I'm sure. <sighs> what's, what's the matter? Just sometimes there's a little bit of, you know, culture shock from ocean to land. I think I need some alone time. Okay, well, I don't, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you on your next time. You, 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 you come out. See you next time. You gonna be okay? Wait, you were just gonna let me go like that? Yeah, I mean, I know. Okay, but fine! Well, what, what did you want from me? Bye! Okay, bye, Otto. I think you upset him. How? Culture shock? Yeah, I think he needed, I you, think you he think needed a, a friend, Duder. Uh, we are friends. We're hanging out after the show. Did you know, do you think they have a, a free healthcare in the ocean? Probably. Yeah. How do you think that works? Do you think they have, like, fish doctors? That are that are specific to, to species. I mean, they have fish chefs, right? Right. Does he only cook for other sharks, or is he kind of like a like an all around kind of guy? You know, I've been trying to get the answer, and frankly, he's not exactly. A... Maybe we'll find out on the new upcoming show, Otto the Chef. That's actually going to be. A, I'm excited about that show. They have great dental. Have you seen how many sharks teeth those sharks have? Hey, I'm serious about the auto show, by the way. Anyway, let's keep going. What's up next? Yeah, the only problem with this, they show them stacked in the pictures. This is very slippery. This is, this is, I'm gonna have to put something, I'll have to put something underneath it. There are some people in chat that are outraged that you're wasting water right now. Do you guys not know how to properly defrost things? We don't have a microwave. Who okay. defrosts in a microwave? Plenty of people. Also, it is a very small stream of water, and this is the proper health code way of defrosting. Yeah, we follow all health code rules here in the Nurse Huckleberry Test Kitchen. As you can see by our cat stool, cats can't be on the counter, they can be on a stool. If you're upset with it, take it up with the health department. I'm doing it in the safe way, okay? This yeah, please, someone call way. the health department and tell them what we're doing here. <laughs> Sorry if that upsets you to safely defrost our pork. Look, I, if I if I I just totally forgot to pull it earlier. Ooh. Ooh. L.A. County is really good about recycling their water. Okay, for all we know, that's just shitty water that's coming out of there. Hey, uh, should have gotten OXO containers. They stack. Yeah, but I didn't want plastic. LA doesn't actually have any water anyway. Yeah, this is probably, uh, you know, wh where would this be coming from? Literally anywhere else in California. Hello, health department. I saw them make meat gush. Can you do that? Is that allowed? Well, you know, since we can't convince people that wasting water is good, maybe you could persuade Vlog Scripter to convince us that thawing the method is, in fact, perfectly safe. Please let LA die even in a drought for like 40 years. Look, dude, I try to waste as much water as I can so it dies faster, you know? I do yell at you about wasting water. Also, about leaving the fridge open. But that doesn't waste water. No, but it's annoying and wasteful energy. How's the pork? 
frozen. Can you cut it up? It's pretty frozen. Yeah. I can try cutting it and then further defrosting it. Although it might actually make it easier to cut thin slices. God yeah. damn it. Well, you just touched the pork? No, it's just the phone. I wasn't... Well, I don't control the phone. Brian, I, uh, I know. I know. Hold on. Look, you're the, it's your fault for giving out the number. I swear, there's one person. Who? Look, he said he could make the stream real big, you know. I mean, we should have never put it on the business cards. Yeah, that was probably a problem. Yeah. You know, we don't have an answering machine. Yeah, I know. Sorry. That's okay. It'll just keep ringing. Hello? Hello, this is the health department. Of course it Frederick is. Frederick speaking. Yeah, hi. Is this, um... Nurse Horkleberry? Yeah, Nurse Huckleberry. Yeah. Huckleberry, sorry. <clears throat> um, I've gotten multiple reports from uh, anonymous callers that you're defrosting pork. Yeah. And this is live. Yeah. Uh huh. I hear that you're also wasting water. Well, yeah, I'm following the proper way of defrosting pork. You don't need to tell me how to de. I know I wrote the rules on defrosting pork, lady. I don't think lady. you did, Frederick. I don't think you wrote the rules on that. Look, actually. I've been here for 45 years. I know how it works, okay? Okay. Before me, pork wasn't even defrosted, they just ate it like a popsicle. That's I a pork. That's a pork joke. I don't think they did. No, that that was a that was a pork joke. Wow, Frederick, you've got such a great joking voice. How could I not have known? Yeah, I am kind of the clown around the office. Anyway, um, I'm just calling to make sure that you are truly following the correct protocols. Can you stick a thermometer in the water, please, and just tell me what it's at? Well, it's going to take a minute. That's okay. I've got as much time as you do. No. I'll just, uh, I'll just be over here doing my crossword puzzles. Great. Mm. Mm. Well, currently it's at 66 degrees. 66. That's a good temperature. That's uh -huh. good. And what is the state of the pork uh, in it's percentage still, out of out of 115 uh, percent? What would you say what do the you mean pork? 115. I'm sorry. Is there a misunderstanding? Out of 100. Do you not understand? No, I don't. How can we I have a very strict 115 percent protocol? With the you should know this. Just give me a rating from zero to 115 on how defrosted it is. It's it's maybe like. Five to ten percent defrosted. So would that be a ninety-five, or would that what, be no, a fifteen? No, you said you said from zero to one hundred and fifteen defrosted. Is one hundred fifteen defrosted, or is one hundred and fifteen? Well, why don't you tell me? Well, I mean, you're the one who's asking. Okay, I'm gonna send over a test that you can do. It's gonna be there in about a week, two weeks tops, to check the pork for trichinosis. Um. Just make sure to not eat it until then, okay? Yeah, great. I'll be okay, checking okay, in Okay, bye, Frederick. Bye. Hello, my beyond gorgeous perfection goddess. Ah. Hey, Mac. Uh, so one of my favorite things to do is um, shame Duder when he's not around. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? what? So, so, so I just dropped the... Uh, I don't like where this is going. What are you talking about? I dropped the thermometer in the garbage disposal. Just grabbed it out real quick. Uh huh. Um, so Duder likes to drop things down the garbage disposal and then be like, "Oh, my hands are too big to reach in there, babe." Can oh you, come on! Can you get it out? Because he doesn't like putting his hands in the garbage disposal. And so then I have to come over and get things out of the garbage. My disposal. hand is too big to go in the garbage disposal. Right, and that's the only reason. Look, I. I'll tell you what, I pulled a cherry pit out of the garbage disposal today. I was scared. I don't and like the, how did you get it out? With was, my fingers, like, the, I had to use, like, these two fingers, because I had to go in. It's like Mr. Krabs when he drops the dime down the, the, the sink, and, and SpongeBob's like, why don't you just let go of the, why don't you just let go of the dime? And Mr. Krabs is like, I could think of ten good reasons not to let go of a dime, you boy. And then they heave and they hoe, and then his arms fall off. 
I don't want my arms to fall off. Yeah, they're not gonna fall off, Duder. Well, you didn't help, so obviously not. You didn't ask for help. I was trying to be a big, strong man. All right, I'm gonna be married soon. Yeah, yeah. I gotta be able to fix the sink. But you're gonna be man of the house. I gotta be able to take out the trash. I gotta be able to take care of the dog that the kids bring home and say, oh, I want a dog, I'll feed it and everything. And I'll be like, all right, great kids. And then I will be the one feeding it and walking it and fall in love. And fall in love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so at work, um, the other bartender managed to drop a jigger. I'm sorry, a what? One of these. Oh, okay. A jigger. Sorry, I thought you said something Drop one else. of these. Uh-huh. Um, and it fell. I don't know how it happened. So, like, under the sink, there's a big pipe that comes up that's, like, this big around. Like, that's a big it's a, pipe. It's a big pipe. Why is it so And big? then there's, like, the drain. And from the ground, it comes up and goes, like, into the ground. But it comes up by, like, six inches or so. And Who then needs a pipe that big? I don't know. And then there's the drain pipe from the sink that goes into the big hole. And the drain pipe's not that big. So there's, like, a, I mean, it's a couple inches off the ground. But there's a, there's a big gaping hole into the ground. Sounds like my ex-wife. Under the sink. Still, I'm, I'm going to... Sustained. Hello, Mr. Friend. I haven't been here in months. Still hot. Even hotter, actually. Hello, nurse. Uh, so he's like, he's like, oh, I think that, I think it's a goner. And I was like, oh, I can see about getting it. And he was like, no, don't. He's like, no, I don't, I don't think anybody can get it. And I was like, no, I can probably get it. He was like, I don't know. And so I reached my. You be careful over there. This is dangerous. It's very hard to cut. It's very frozen. And slippery. And, uh... Again, sounds like my ex <laughs> Stop setting me up. Anyway, so I reach. I'm, like, on the ground. On my hands and knees. Okay, I like this so far. Okay, let me wash my hands. Okay, I'll wait. The knife is sharp, by the way. Actually, Spuds Jukowski, that is the dullest knife we have in the house. But it no, would still hurt. Not. I was trying to make them feel safe. You could heat the knife with hot water. Oh yeah, and then what? Waste water? You guys have been complaining about that. So. So you were saying on your hands so, and knees. So I was on my hands and knees, right? And there's like the whole sink thing above. So I'm like, like, like this, reaching my arm. Thank you, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, underdoggies. Thank you, Bert. I'm reaching my arm down, and I get all the way up to here, like in this hole. And he's like, he's like, don't worry, you're not gonna be able to get it. And I was like, oh no, I can feel it. And so then I like, freaking precision lightning, just like, <laughs> and bring it up. And I was like, here you go. And he was just like, oh, my hero, my hero. Man, you really saved that damsel in distress, didn't you? I did. I did. The last time I was elbow deep in something, they did not like it. And that's a, and that's the same guy who gets upset that I know more than him. Did you hear any music in your in your uh, head? Like boom, 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 boom. Not really. Doo -doo -doo. But no, he's he's a uh, he's the the current bar lead. Yeah. Um, and I worked last night. I was covering for somebody who's out sick. And, um, he, <laughs> he's, like, have, makes these drinks that have way too many ingredients in them. And it's like, okay, bro, like. Well, how many ingredients is too many? Seven. That's too many. For sure. And he was trying to come up with a drink to use a chamomile tea, which he brewed not following the directions I gave him, so it turned out too weak. Well, clearly, you should, next time you give him directions, give him the wrong directions, so he does it right. Yeah. Or maybe I just need to write... What are we doing? Is he, is he planning on moving? What's he doing? 
Is there extra catnip over there? What's going on? Who is the better bartender? Between who? I mean, the answer is always Nurse Huckleberry. Also, welcome in Rage Yeti. Hey, Thunder God Sid. Oh! Spud Joukowsky! Lou will get in a sub, sub to Spuds. Hell yeah, nice. dude! Uh, I mean, I would say, I don't know. I, I, it'd be pretty hard pressed to say who's better at this point. Also, because we don't really, we've never bartended at the same time or competed. I feel like we wouldn't need to compete. We'd work. No, we'd probably just work together nicely and be happy. I feel like we have similar yet. Um, okay, that's that. You don't need to worry about that piece. Just throw it back in the water. Just defrost it. Um different but but i say we have developed unique skill sets where maybe you're better at some things and i'm better at some things depending on the bar depending on the need depending on working with people like i've gotten pretty good at customer service yeah you know who i saw yesterday no the drummer, actually, I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint. Besides that, he's a drummer. Oh, I know. One arm. Shark of the fridge. Sup, Officer Rando? Yeah, the drummer for Def Leppard. Isn't that epic? And they're playing tonight at the Whiskey A Go Go. Whiskey A Go Go. On a Thursday. Who shakes it faster? I don't know, but I definitely shake it harder, baby. I do. I shake it much harder than most people. I don't know. I shake pretty hard, though. I shake harder than you. I'm sure you probably do. And but louder. My goal isn't to be loud. Well, mine neither. That is some red. Some red soup? Red. Man, if we didn't stream tonight, I probably could have got us in to see see the Def Leppard tonight, even though it was sold out. Don't make him feel bad. I'm not. I got better places to be. How is there so much care on me? Well, Bert did go around you. Def Leppard in tight quarters seems weird. Yeah, they are kind of like a... Like a like a what stadium stadium rock band? Yeah. But you can only fit what like two hundred people in there? Maybe not even that much. It is a smaller venue for sure. Yeah. When Duder is working, he's firstly a friend. I don't know. I'm good at the talking to people and chatting them up and stuff. Sometimes a little too good, if you know what I mean. What, what does that mean? I get in long, drawn-out conversations with people. Oh, Go yeah. figure! See, I'm really good at not doing that. If I'm busy, I'm gonna just being like, I'm really sorry. I need to make some drinks real quick. I'll, but uh, I'm, I'll say, I'm really enjoying this conversation. But I gotta get, I gotta help out with this real quick. Give me just a minute, and then I do it. And then I'm like, okay, great. Excellent dress. Excellent. Thanks, Genghis Fly. You should go to the forum next Wednesday to see All Elite Wrestling. Do you want to go see All Elite Wrestling? I don't know who that is. Yeah, I'm sure is it's it just, wrestling. I'm is sure. it just I, wrestling? or I'm is assuming it, it's wrestling. Like, All Elite Wrestling sounds like an interesting band name. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's actually a great way to get out of a conversation. I have to try it. Mm -hmm. Mine is uh, laughing and walking away at the same time. 
So like if they say something funny and I'm like, ha 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 ha, well, I'm walking I didn't away. tell you about the drunk guy, did I? What? Another drunk guy? There, did I did I tell you about the the guy with the music? Again, uh, no. I, From Monday night, I don't think I talked about it. I, I don't think so. so. There was this guy who was sitting at the bar with a with a Jim uh Jim Harrison T-shirt. Jim Harrison. Who's Jim Harrison? He's in a band. You're thinking of Jim Morrison? Oh, I guess it was Jim Morrison. The Doors? Yeah, Jim Morrison. Uh, sure. That was kind of cringe. Sorry. Harrison? More like Harrison Ford. Anyways. Anyways. Uh-huh. Um, so this guy, he's like kind of a older black dude, maybe in his like mid-60s. Ah! Um, He's got his hair in like kind of a fro, wearing a leather fringe jacket, nice. Jim Morrison t-shirt. Nice. But it was like a very artsy Jim Morrison shirt. Like like the his face was like the whole shirt. Gotcha. Like it was kind of hard to tell what it was. Like very, very psychedelic look on this man. Psychedelic. Very psychedelic. Um, Psych, sign me up. And he... <laughs> He comes in and he was like asking me if I knew how to make a Long Island, and I was like, I do, but we don't actually serve them at this bar. What does that mean? They, how can you not serve? I don't know. I don't know. They don't serve Long Island, which I was like. How can you refuse a drink that you have all the ingredients for? I don't know. I'm just saying. That is so a, pretentious. Fuck I that. I don't know. Which I'll probably make just, a Long Island and just charge thirty dollars for it. Well, that's the thing. I told him I was like, it's going to be like twenty-two dollars, and I was like, if I if I made one for you, it'd probably be twenty-two or twenty-four dollars. And he was like, yeah, I'm not paying that. And I was like, uh, would you? And then he asked me for um, a vodka drink and the least sweet possible. And I was like. Like a vodka soda? It's literally... Vodka martini? Yeah, like I was like, you do a vodka soda, it's not going to be sweet. Mm. And so he so he gets a vodka soda and he's like, yeah, 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 I like that, I like that. I, I didn't know about this. Kicking these odd biddies to you because they're homeless. <laughs> Got today at you because Obi-Wan in on. Have a great stream. Enjoy the show, Chittown Decky. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so he's like... He was like, didn't know that vodka soda was a drink. Was all excited about this. I'm like, you're in your 60s, whatever. But he knew what a Long Island was? Yeah, so he didn't know that a vodka soda was going to have no sugar in it. So I give him a vodka soda, or no added sugar, I should say. Okay. So I give him a vodka soda, and then he's like, yeah, 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 that's great. And he's like, oh, you can actually you can actually taste the vodka in it. But, like, a Long Island, they've got, like, it's got, like, four shots in it, right? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no. It's got, uh, like, one and a half. I was like, uh, I was like, depending on where you are, I was like, if you're in a club, it might have two shots in it, but if you're in a restaurant like this, typically it's it's, it's gonna just be measured one. out and it's gonna be two and it's, a half ounces of liquor included. Yeah, I was like, it's gonna be it's gonna be just like one shot plus the Curse liqueur, out. the curacao, yeah. and he was like, oh, 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 and he was like, he was like, really? And I was like, yeah, and trying to explain it to him, and he's like, okay, I see. He's like, yeah, 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 I see. And I was like, you know, but a place like a dive bar, it's they might have a bigger pour. I was like, but that's the glass it would be served in. And he had a Collins that he was drinking this uh, uh, vodka soda out of. I was like, and it literally won't fit in that glass to have uh, two shots. I was like, it just won't fit. No, it won't fit. And so then he decides that he wants Ring a double. A double vodka soda? A double vodka soda. Okay. He's and a crazy he, old gamer. He never And I'm like, one. okay, sure, bud. Sure, bud. So I, because he was like, he was saying that he wanted to taste the booze more. And I was like, well, you could do a double. And so then you he could just like, get no soda. Yeah. Or just have vodka on the rocks. Yeah. Whatever. So then he decides, oh, yeah, I want that. He's like, he's like, so then it'll be two shots, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, 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 give me that one. So he has and a single. And also $30. <laughs> well, no, because their well is kind of cheap. It was. 18. Oh shit! So their well is like nine dollars or something. So I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, the man was on a mission to get fucked up, but still yes, an he idiot. was. Yes, he was. So he orders a single and then he gets a double, and I was like, okay. And then like 
sucks that down. And then it's, and like, mind you, he's only been at the bar for maybe 20-ish minutes at this point, and he's already had three shots. Mm. And so I was like, okay, interesting. And the other bartender warned me, he's like, this guy, we've had to cut him off before. And I was like, okay. This guy. And so he's like sitting at the bar, and then he orders another double. And I was like... And I refilled his water, and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll be right with you. And I waited until he had completely drank the first drink, and he had, he wouldn't let me take the glass from the, the single I gave him, and he was taking those ice cubes and, like, putting them he in the other the ice, drink. Saving the ice cubes. Saving yeah. the ice. So he's putting them in the other drink. Great. Whatever. I'm like, mm, do what you want. Um, all fine and dandy. And then he, like orders another double and eventually I give it to him after kind of like making him wait a little bit uh -huh. and then uh, he's like okay great and I <laughs> I uh, and I was getting really nervous because he was really keeping it together he was he was doing fine but he hadn't gone to the bathroom yet uh oh and the important thing like like, there are some people who can completely hold it together until they stand up. And I was just waiting. I was like, all right, I want to see what happens when this guy stands up to go to the bathroom. And, and mind you, he was so annoying. He was all excited because they were playing a lot of classic rock. And mind you, I had zero control over the music. None. And he'd be like, oh, this is the Almond Brothers. Great song. Thank you so much for playing this song. I remember you telling me about that part yeah. of the story, and but so not the every, other stuff. Every time a new song would come on, he would tell me that the only reason he was staying was because the music was so good. And then he would tell, like, try and make jokes, quoting movies I've never seen before. And making, he's like, oh, it's a quote from a movie. And I'm like, cool. Great. And I had like other people I was helping and he's like making people kind of uncomfortable and he keeps like laughing and then he'd be like, oh, it's a quote from a movie. And then he'd be like, okay, I'll stop bothering you now. And then he would continue to bother me. Like every time he'd say something, he'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll leave you alone. I'll let you work. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep bothering you. And then he would keep, and, and he'd like forget. And then five seconds later, he'd be like, here's a, here's a funny joke. Or let me tell you about this band. And I'd be like, I, <laughs> so I go to the manager and I was like, Hey, can we please change the music? I was like, I like this music. I am enjoying the music, but I really want this guy to fucking leave. Cause he's just annoying the shit out of me. Can we please change the music? Cause he says the only reason he's here is cause the music's good. So change the music. And so the manager was trying, I guess the chef was the one playing the music. So he's like trying to convince the chef, but they were really busy. Okay. And Anyways, took forever. Finally, well after the guys left, they changed the music, but, um. This dude has got to go. Sounds like every drunk guy in his 60s, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so he keeps, he's just getting drunker, right? And he's like, and I, and I had already told the other bartender, I was like, I am not serving him anymore. Mm -hmm. No, he's done. And so he's trying to finish his drink and he's like, oh, give me one more. And I was like, yeah, but I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed. I can't give you another drink. And he was like, that's okay. I'll just go to Rocco's. Uh. <laughs> and I was like... Wait, is there a Rocco's over there? There's a Rocco's over there. So he was going to walk down the street and uh, go to a different bar. Already five shots in from my bar. He did tip well, though. He was... I mean, he was nice. Like, and that's one of those things where it, it kind of sucks because he was nice he was friendly. He was just really fucking annoying. Like, really annoying. Yeah, that's and, nice. and And got too drunk. Are and, there guidelines for how much you should serve a particular person? Yes. I mean, there are, but everyone has it's their own of, tolerance. You have to, it's your own judgment. It basically. is your own judgment. So technically within California, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes in between serving shots or drinks. So if somebody gets um, one drink and they suck it down, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes after they finish that drink before you can give them another drink. But there's like, and you're not supposed to let people double fist. 
And there's some rules where it's like, if somebody has like a beer and a shot, it normally doesn't really count because beer is not a hard alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, 10 minutes really isn't that much, that's true. But it isn't that much, but then it's kind of like, the more that they've drank, the more you're expected to, to make wait. them wait. So like, but the, then that's between, the best part because they don't have as, as much of a concept of time, so they right. don't realize it. So between like the first drink and the second drink, you can give them do them kind of quick. But between like, especially the third drink and the fourth drink, yeah, that's when it's more on the. It is up to the job of the server or bartender to start making better decisions because, or to make decisions for somebody else because that person is now considered inebriated, especially if it's all been within like a short amount of time. If it's one drink per hour, mm -hmm. then they can drink as much as they want because that's how quickly it metabolizes for the most part. Right, and working at a hotel does make it a little bit easier because if I know they're staying there, then it doesn't like, you know, they can, I don't want them to, but they could drink a, technically a little bit too much because they're just walking to their room or security can escort them to their room. Part of the the worry is when you're... Yeah, the, nobody's driving, that's right. So if I overserve someone at my restaurant, right? And they get into a car and accident. And they get into a car accident. And they I say that be, they were drinking at Right, and they restaurant. say, oh, I was drinking at the restaurant Nurse Huckleberry works at. Then I can be held liable for over serving yeah. because essentially. And then you, learn, you lose your bartending license. Yeah, and you get like a $30,000 fine. Oh, that too. And the restaurant loses can lose their liquor license and they get like a $55,000 fine. Yeah, nobody wins. Nobody wins. Um, and basically, it's because um, same thing with like consent an inebriated person cannot give consent. An inebriated customer cannot make the best decisions for themselves, so it's up to the the sober, ideally sober <laughs> staff to make sure that they're making in, informed decisions to protect the health of not just the customer but the people that the customer is going to encounter. So my favorite thing to do, and I'm sure you've done this too, is if people are drinking too much but you know that they're going to pay for everything and tip well and you want to just get a bigger bill and they keep ordering drinks but they're like you know at the point where like they don't care anymore like they can't taste the intricacies of the flavor of the drink or whatever you just short them a lot they've been ordering vodka sodas a lot i put a quarter of the vodka but i put it at the top or I put it in the straw i don't typically do that i normally just cut them off cut them off yeah Although my clientele is not as rich as yours. That's true. But uh, no, I just I just cut them off. I just, or, or I'll tell them, you know, I'll say, hey, you gotta drink this water before, like, I'm not saying that. no, I'm saying you need to drink this water and wait 10 minutes before I can give you another drink. Exactly, no, I mean, the reason that I short them is because they don't want to look embarrassed in front of their friends, because they're usually rich, and it's more important for them to have a drink in their hand that looks like a drink, than to be drinking water. So if I just serve them water that looks like a cocktail, then they're happy and they'll pay $18 for it. Well, I mean, that's the thing though, is like... <sighs> Don't forget to hydrate. It's it's one thing if, like, like, it's one thing if they're just getting a little too drunk and they're just like slurring their words, but if they're like being a nuisance. Oh yeah, no, that's a whole because, different thing. Because like, I typically don't end up serving people well. There was one guy who got a little too drunk, um, but uh, the, I mean, both of these guys, but on, in the same night, there was a second guy who came in later and he like drank like five or six cocktails. And um, the other bartender and I, thankfully he got to the end of the night and like, we just didn't tell him it was last call. Um, and he still had like half a cocktail left anyways. We didn't tell him it was last call. And mm -hmm. then he's like, he's like, oh, can I get another one? And we're like, nah, dude, we did last call. He's like, oh, really? And he's like, he was like, oh, but you can't hook me up. Nope, we did last call. Sorry, bud. It was like five minutes ago. You still have a drink. And he was like, oh, and he was, it was one of those where, and this is one of my favorite parts of bartending is when somebody sits at the bar and they're very serious and they're very like absorbed in their own thing. And then they get a drink or two on them. And then suddenly they're like, hey, and like real talkative and stuff. But it, you know, they just needed to take the edge off. Yeah. Um, so that's how he was. He like sat down and I was like, oh, this guy's. Might want some tongs. Yeah. 
shark on the fridge. Uh, but yeah, so then he gets like kind of toasty, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden he's real excited about stuff. I was like, okay. That's pretty shitty, Jay Sherman. Damn. What's shitty? Yeah, that's a long message. Uh, over serving laws are some strong BS. There was a bar in my hometown that got fined because a guy got wasted at a festival, was thrown out by security, and then managed to walk to the bar for another drink before driving away and wrecking his car. They found the receipt in his wallet, and the police blamed the bar. I mean, that's the thing, though, is you can't over serve. If somebody's, if somebody's shit faced enough to get kicked out, you shouldn't be serving them. Right, but he, like, it's not. Sometimes you can't tell right away if someone walks up to the bar and they're like, oh, let me get a beer. That's true. I like mean, I have. To, if they I, walk in and they're like, oh, God, you uh, said. I, I have had track. people. There are, like, if somebody is, like, a real drunk, yeah. they can be very good at pulling themselves together for the 30 seconds it takes to order. And, like, I've had this happen where somebody's like, like, literally, literally, I've had this happen. Somebody be like, hi, can I get a vodka soda? And you're like, yeah, sure. And you hand it to them. Here, hand me this, hand me this vodka soda. Here's your vodka soda. Really? Thanks. That's good. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck just happened? Like, literally, between, ter- like, making the drink and handing it to them, they went from, ha to, like, I, <laughs> I have 100% had that happen to me, where you're like, oh my god. And then, and then it's all like in their hand. And you're like, no. Usually, I just grab a manager and be like, "Hey, they they can't have that. Make them pay. Here's the, here's the check. Make them pay." From Mickey Mouse to Sad Goofy. Yeah, give me a good Mickey Mouse impression. Woo-hoo. Is that? And now Goofy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know you could do that. You know, you, you can, can you not hey yuck? Hey yuck. Hey yuck. Hey yuck. You can do a good uh, Donald Duck. <laughs> hey, speechless monk, welcome back. How are you doing tonight? Gorsh. Yeah. That's how he falls. Not to be confused with Mario. He's yeah. like, wow. Now the neighbors are gonna think Mario's in here. (laughs) FYI, I have 45 proof rum and half liter of whiskey. You jerks. What, with your milk? With your discount milk? Don't save minor. Don't serve minors. Don't pour a ton of shots for a guy attempting feats of strength in the outside seating area. Yeah. Yeah, I had to check someone's ID yesterday. And she was like, you don't remember me? And I was like, no. uh, she's like, yeah, I was here eight months ago. And I was like, okay, so? Anyway, she's 22. She was the one, I, I think I actually told you about it. There was like a two girls and some weird guy who I found out yesterday. I feel like, okay. What? It's just me, checking IDs in LA is really weird because sometimes you check somebody's ID and they're like 40 and you're like, well, you had some work done. And then other times you'll check someone's ID and they've clearly had work done. And they don't look good. And they, and well, no, you'll check someone's ID and you'll be like, I'm not really sure because they've had work done. And you're like, I don't know, they're probably like 25. And then they're like barely 21. And you're like, oh God, because the work wasn't good. That one day that I went to buy groceries without you for stream, I saw this guy who had a huge ass. And he was wearing a jumpsuit, and it was like ass and pecs. It was like a it was like a boob and butt job. And then he had big lips, but he looked like he was in his twenties. Like, like I was like, why would you do that to your ass? It looks terrible. How do no. you sit down? So there's uh, there was this person I saw the other day who asked me how old I thought they were, and I was like, uh, I don't know, I, I maybe like twenty six. And then they're like, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm just 21. And I'm like, that is not, that's, that's not a good thing. Yeah. Buddy. Did you say it was like, two girls and one cup? <laughs> no. She, it was, it was, she had too much makeup on and wearing too much makeup ages you. 
Hey, Steve's fish tanks. Got a pad for your ass no matter where you sit, it's cushioned. Yeah. Yeah, when he sits, he's six feet taller. Yeah, it's like, oh, why are you so t Like, they stand up and they're just as tall as when they were sitting down. What's up, Mikey? When I was 18 and worked as a cashier at a grocery store, a guy came in through my line with a six pack and he was slurring and I thought he was drunk. I told him, I'm not sure if I can sell you this, sir. You sound under the influence. Then he removed his hat to show me a huge scar on his head and told me I had my head split open and went into a coma and now my speech is all fucked up. I wanted to cry, I feel so bad. I mean, you didn't know. But yeah, you should feel bad. I mean... I feel bad sometimes because I can't tell sometimes if people have had work done or if they've had a stroke. And I'm like, uh... Sorry. All right. What is it with fake butts and ass? I don't know, Speechless Monk. Like, why don't people just grow an ass? And if they don't have one... Because it's pretty... I mean, it's pretty hard to do. Well, why don't you just love yourself? Bruh. Bruh. Someone's gonna love that ass. There's a lid for every pot. Who are you trying to impress? Yeah, you can literally grow an ass, but it might not be the right shape or size that you want because muscle only grows outwards and not specifically placed. You know, this is why we should go back to uh, clothes of the ye olden days. Where you can just uh, pronounce the attributes you want without having plastic surgery? Yes, because they're like, oh, big butts are in. You're that like, that is not gonna blend well. You're like, big butts are in. You're like, hell yeah, freaking bum roll, baby. Bum roll! How are you gonna blend that? It's so hot. It's okay, I'm just gonna. It's gonna splatter everywhere. I'm scared! Start it low. And with a. A towel. A towel is a good idea. I mean, last time I did this, I made a mess, so. like a UFO. Why are you making that face? The blender is feeling a little hot. Well, you did put boiling liquid in there. Well, the blender turned off on its own. She's gonna blow! I mean, that's pretty good. Maybe it knew that it was done. I get upset when relatively new mothers... What? New mothers immediately start talking about getting work done to fix them. Yeah. Shark on the fridge! Does it have a soup button? Did you press soup button? Uh, you know... It's too hot. It doesn't want to. Well, it doesn't go when it's not on. Well... That. Toasty. Is it still chunky? It's quite smooth. I mean, it's not like a perfectly fine puree, but smooth. it's. 
pretty good looking. I'm excited now about soup. I don't think you were going to blend it that quickly. What do you mean? Like, so hot. Well, you wanted hot soup, right? Yeah. Is it, I mean, are you going to blend it some more? No, I mean, that seems fine to me. It's not like the perfectly most smooth, 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 smooth. Puree, Fire is raiding. Welcome. Fire, what's going on tonight? How's it going? Eat salt. Salt. Extraterrestrials will probe any anus. Uh, Firus, what were you doing on your stream tonight? Welcome in. Nanners and beets. And a blender. And a blender. Sea of Thieves. Oh, nice. You know, I haven't played that game yet. I've... Let's play it right now. Right now? I'll download it. <clears throat> Hell yeah, some Sea of Thieves. Hey, Tested Trees, how you doing tonight? All right, we clean the blender. It's Pink Bow's here, what? Pink Bow! It's past your bedtime. Oh, you can't stay, gotcha. <laughs> I love your dress. Ahoy, friends. I can't stay, but wanted to say hi. Hey, Pink Bow. Are, you making a, are we making uh, pina coladas now? Oh, that's right, you wanted to make pina coladas. Or any sort of blended. Is it still hot? I mean, the this is hot, but... You throw some ice in there. Favorite sea shanty. The uh, only one I really know is... What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What that doesn't do you sound do with like a... Drunken a... Sailor early in the morning? Hey, how is that game, Nino Cooney? I keep seeing ads for it. Like, I see ads for it, and then nobody, there's no comments on the ads, so I don't know if it's good or bad. It looks cool, though. Can't you also play a hurdy-gurdy in the Sea of Thieves? Hurdy-gurdy. Remember we saw that hurdy-gurdy girl? That's true. Remember that? That game, like, looked so cool, but it, it I, I feel like, I don't know how popular it still is. Which one? If, if it went, Sea of Thieves, if it went the way of, like, uh, Fall Guys, because Fall Guys is like, nobody plays Fall Guys anymore, right? I haven't played Nino Kuni, but the first one was really popular. I do like JRPGs. You know me, I'm a Final Fantasy man. He never likes his RPGs. Although I did not like Octopath Traveler. No, you thought it was boring. It was boring. Also, the, the uh, voice acting, voice was, acting bad. was horrible. Terrible. Oh my god. It's one of those things where I will never understand when they're like, oh, the character's gonna say this every time they do this action, and they're gonna do this action thousands, literally thousands of times in a game. And they don't think to make it somewhat less annoying. Oh, people still play Fall Guys? Okay. I guess it's, I'm just not the demographic. Mm, yeah, it's a little grainy. You want to strain it? I could strain it. Fall Guys sucks. I don't, really, I don't really want to. Here. No, that's, that's, that tastes good. I mean, it's fine. Like... Wheel spin! I think this will also be good as a cold soup, so... It will. High kicks! Oh man. You know how hard it is to high kick in this dress? Like, <laughs> that's it. You just go as high as you can.
Uh, are we making pina coladas? I don't know if I have. I don't have any coconut milk. I don't think. Why don't we just make a coconut rum banana? Something. Coconut rum, like frozen banana, and maybe some pineapple juice. Sure. I, I mean, this doesn't really go with the food we're eating, but. Do we have coconut rum? What are you talking about? We have four bottles of it. Oh, that coconut rum. I thought, well, I mean, it's it's a really low alcohol. I mean, it tastes good though. Well, we can use other rum also. Hello, the White Shadow, Ohio. Why is it so sticky? Ew, it's sticky. I think fruit fell on it or something. There's. All right, that settles it. I'm buying that buying that game right now. Which one? Nino Kuni. It's on the Switch, right? Pineapple. Do I want Nino Kuni 2 or Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch? What's the difference? Yeah, I never heard that one before the White Shadow Ohio when I was working on the radio for five years. What was the joke? Got a face for radio. Nah, you got a great face, babe. Bert, what are you doing? It's okay. If I'm the only person that loves your face, except for your mom, because all that matters. My mom? Yeah, your mom. Your mom likes your face, too. Marine fact! Unique Lake Ontario limnology fact. Um, I don't, uh, I don't have a specific Lake Ontario liminal, like... Or there was one redeemed 46 minutes ago that I seem to have missed about kelp! Uh, okay, is Lake uh. Ontario the biggest? Lake of the Great Lakes? I don't know! I'm, I'm just asking, I'm trying to remember which one's the biggest one. Cause I could, I have a... One of the five Great Lakes. Okay. Um, the Great Lakes are so large, Lake Ontario is so large, that they have real life waves that occur on them. Um, waves occur because wind pushes the top layer of water and because the Great Lakes are so big, they have waves like the ocean does. Um, and uh, yeah, also it's kind of crazy when they're frozen and they have big frozen waves, big waves of slush. Slush. Uh, that's the best I can do for Lake Ontario off the top of my head. All right, that settles it. I'm buying both Nino Coonies. It's in the name, nurse. Lake Superior is the biggest. I just thought it was the best. You're the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. You can't do it, kid. Name that name that game. I'm the Start best. Start with the Wrath of the White Witch. Wait, the Cross Worlds is mobile? No, you didn't offend me. It takes a lot to offend me. I appreciate it. I, I mean, you, you complimented my voice. That's, I love that. Makes me a happy boy. Okay. We, well, no, we haven't put banana in there yet. We got pineapple. I was gonna say, I didn't see you put any banana. Some lemon juice. Uh huh. I'm gonna put some banana. We've got spice rum and 
Oh, you put in frozen bananas. Yeah. So they can be like a like a smoothie. Yes, the VO in Duder VO is voice actor. That's what it stands for. Synthesizer Sam is here. When are you guys gonna eat eat the cat? Asks, take your clothes off now. Take your clothes off. This isn't your first time here. We never eat the cat. Got him! Hear that, Bert? Bert behind the bowl! Take care, Pinkbo. Can I, Pinkbo? Go look at Pinkbo. She's wonderful. Go check her out. She's a nice lady. Bartender question. What is the drink most ordered by jerk-offs and douchebags? AMFs. I mean, not, I mean, not in my experience. Um, or they'll ask, do you know how to make an old fashioned? If they ask me if I know how to make an old fashioned, then I'm like, oh my God. Um, really? Usually the assholes that come into my work order like Classe Azul, and then, but they only get one. Either they'll get like something stupid fancy to impress their friends. Mm -hmm. But they'll normally order it as like a margarita. That too, yeah. A Cadillac margarita. Yeah. Because they're like, that sounds really fancy. I had somebody ask me, a guy asked me the other night, they're like, how do you know somebody's like a really good bar patron? Like, like they're, you know, like they, they know their stuff. And I told him, I was like, really, it doesn't matter what they order as long as they order it appropriately. I was like, if somebody's ordering a nice whiskey, like I had somebody order an, uh, $22 a shot whiskey the other night as a sour. Mm. It was like a reserve aged whiskey and they ordered it as a sour. And I was like, why would you do that? Like so dumb. Those kind I'm, of spirits, it's a waste to order in as a mixer. You want it either with like ice or soda. Like it's for people who are going to appreciate the alcohol, not for right. mixing. Like there's no point if you're going to mix it. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Jay Phil, you have a point, and based on the environment, it is not a bad idea to ask. But if you go to a bar and they have like vegetation, healthy looking vegetation on the bar, like if mixing the drinks herbs, on the menu have ingredients that you've not heard of, they know how to make an old fashioned. That's a good point too. Yeah. If it's specialty cocktails, if the drinks on the menu are like a margarita with strawberry in it. Or, yeah, or then, like a like, Moscow Mule, but it has whiskey instead of right. Vodka. If it's if, but if it's something where it's like, oh, I'd never think of putting that in a drink, or I've never heard of that before, they know how to make an old fashioned. Like, I like the way you peel that banana. I don't know. I find it really annoying when people are like. Although I did have a lady the other day. She was like, she she asked me. Um, if I was only allowed to order or make the drinks off the menu or if I could make her other stuff. And I was like, oh no, I can totally make you other stuff. That's always a funny question to me. And I feel like it's not as obvious as it should be. Cause like you look at a dinner menu and you're like, oh, can I actually just get a grilled cheese sandwich? You have bread and cheese and butter, right? Right? It's, yeah. The bar is different. We're like, we have a bar menu, but that's not limited. That's part of why it makes bar, like why bartending is a difficult profession. Because not only do you need to have working knowledge of the specifics for your restaurant, but also just general bar knowledge of typically around 100 to 200 recipes that people are likely to call on and ask you for. And then also like the differences between all your whiskeys and the differences between all your gins, like which ones are floral, which ones are not, which ones are light, which ones are heavy, which ones are super junipery, blah, blah, blah. Like... Yeah, uh, but no, I, I I was like, no, I can make you whatever you want. Like, and a lot of times I'll tell people, mm -hmm. I'll say, um, I'll show them the menu and I'll say, uh, you know, oh, like if people like ask me what to have off the menu. I'll ask them what their preferred liquor is and then um, tell them this is what we have on the menu or I can make you most, you know, I was like, it is a full bar. I can make most whatever you like or I can make you something special. Right. Makes it's like for you. if if what if you don't if what you see on the menu isn't particularly appetizing, I can either make you something special or I can make you a classic. 
Actually, that's a good question. Can you peel the bananas and then freeze them? Or does the peel protect them from frostbite? I mean, I think the peel helps keep it from frostbite. It's a bitch to peel, though. It is a bitch to peel. These ones didn't peel as good. The other ones I did recently peeled really easily. Well, those are old. Bartender workshop at TwitchCon? I don't think we'd be allowed to. Uh, you know how to make a Mai Tai? You better put pineapple juice in it. Mai Tais don't have pineapple juice in them. Shrimp. Not the classic. The dive bar style does. Learn that one. They don't have pineapple juice. A traditional Mai Tai, which is the actual drink, has Orjot, orange triple sec, or yeah, a Curacao. Cointreau, Curacao. An orange liqueur. Orange liqueur. It has lime juice and it has rum. You have them peeled in the freezer and you can check your bananas. Oh, they're fucked. How bad are they? Huh? The bananas. <laughs> Spudge Joukowsky put peeled bananas in, in, in their freezer. Oh. They did not, they're not looking good. Oh. No, I feel like a Mai Tai and a daiquiri. Those two drinks are probably the most confused. Just, oh yeah. Cause like if someone comes to the bar and they're like, let me get a daiquiri and you give them a daiquiri in a martini glass and it's not frozen. Right, and doesn't have a strawberry puree in there's it. There's no strawberry puree. There's no, there's no mix or whatever. Then they're sometimes confused. And they're like, this isn't what I thought. Although I love being able to say, no, sorry, you don't have a blender, no blended drinks. Fucking hate, I, as I make a blended drink, I hate blended well, drinks. Well, it's, it's better when it's just for you. Do you know how to like, make a seven and seven? You'd be surprised how many people don't know, how many bartenders don't know what a seven and seven is. I actually, I can't. I don't have Seagram's and I don't have seven up, so I can't I know, neither. <laughs> but like, I had somebody at a, the last place I worked, they were like, they came up to me and they were like, do you know what a seven and seven is? And I was like, yes, it's, I was like, it's, it's Canadian whiskey and lemon lime soda, basically. I was like, but we don't have any Canadian whiskey. So we don't have Seagram's. Confirmed, so peel in freezer prevents frostbite. Hi Octane, how you doing tonight? I've always wanted a butt chug a mixed drink. It doesn't have to taste good then. Here we go, it's time for takeoff. First super hot, now super cold. for the blender really putting in work today. How is it? It's pretty tasty. What else you put in there? Yeah, it's basically a banana daiquiri. But with coconut. Ooh! Yeah, give me that in a hurricane glass. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's got pineapple, a little bit of lemon, you gotta get them from this side. Pineapple, lemon. I'm gonna move this light out of the way. Excuse me. What style of blender is that? Uh, uh, it's a ninja. 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 What, what's it called? It's like the foodie something. Uh huh. Bert, what? Dave. Bert. Can't, Dave, get out of here. Melissa is eating. How you doing tonight? Can you go? What? I just want to make sure it wasn't in the frame. I thought the preferred drink of a D bag was a Jaeger bomb. I mean, it was in like 2009. Yeah, now people are like, uh, yeah, I want Casamigos. You don't have Casamigos? Oh. I'll take a repo, uh, margarita, please. Is a blender on the equipment list? No. I just, I can't remember what the actual thing is called. We'll put it on the equipment list. Um, Ninja the Fortnite guy? That reminds me, more or less, Mikey. There is a billboard 
on the way, like all the way to Culver City, on the way back uh, north, that has Ninja's face on it, and it's just, I think it's just advertising his brand. The, the, the clothing brand? And he looks so stupid. I'm gonna take a picture of it the next time I drive by it. Like, I didn't realize he was still relevant. Ooh, look at that. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? That's a pretty close guess. There's like a little bit left in there. Yeah, that goes into the, the to my mouth. I'll top you off. Nice. God damn! You guys make alcohol look yummy. Murray, are you helping? Mm. I had a cat go into my house in the morning today. I gave her a can of tuna. That's nice. Did she eat the tuna? Did she Was like it a the feral tuna? Cat? Chug it, get brain freeze. I don't get brain freeze, Ed Banger. Tuna doesn't get brain freeze. I don't understand it. You want me to chug it? No. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, I can't chug it. The, the wife says I can't chug it, so. Not your wife. Do we have a straw? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll drink a bunch of it through a straw, how about? I'll show you I don't get brain freeze. Uh. Remember when he was at the New Year's countdown and tried to get those people to floss in the rain? Yeah, that was so cringy. I don't see much movement. Does that kill turtles? Do these straws kill turtles? No, they're paper. They kill trees. Nice. Bert, you want a straw? I'm a wizard. Maybe Duder doesn't have a brain. What is that? Coconut. What are you doing with it? Toasting it. For what? The top. Of what? The drinks. Oh. Why? To garnish. Okay. Wow, you're really going all out for a drink that I'm going to chug. Oh, don't chug it! <laughs> I only made him because you wanted it. Yeah, I'm excited. Who needs a brain when you got pipes for days? Very true. Look at this drink, man. Bertie, you see this drink? You know, we've gotten way more use out of these cocktail umbrellas. <laughs> I really ever expected to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if that was it's the best way. It's some hot coconut. Okay. Well. Toasty coconut. Have a good night, Snow Peep. Good night, Snow Peep. Yeah, that was sizzling pineapple. The cheers. Ooh, that looks good. If it wasn't so hot, it'd probably be better. But cheers. Enjoy. Mm. Mm. And it's good with the toasty coconut smell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, ready? Oh, I got a chunk. Damn it. I'm already feeling a little brain freezy. I get cold like here. Here, dear. Give me here. Oh, yeah, you can tell me off. Perfect chugged amount, babe. 
Thank you. This is exactly what I wanted. I guess I have no veins or arteries in the roof of my mouth. I've also never had a cavity. Swing. I have a mouth of the gods. I also have great teeth, never had braces. So. So. Pretty, so I got some good mouth good. genetics. Cause what that mouth do? I think about what that mouth did last night. It sang me a really pretty song. Yeah? Yeah. Is that what it did? Yeah. Okay. You wanna unplug this? Thank you. And it, I think it's all because I brush my teeth almost once a day. Oh my god, oh, Mikey! Mikey! Why are you gifting five subs? What are you doing that for, huh? He's epic! Mikey with the subs! Mikey with the subs. You know, just for that, Mikey, since we haven't really spun the wheel that much today, let's give it a good old wheel spin. Oh, good. One of your favorites. Nothing. 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 Hey, Reverse Eon, how you doing tonight? Dude, okay. I have a thick head of hair, but I went gray in my early 20s. How has it been with your thick head of hair going gray? Good? Bad? You know, I think it's been all good. I had like maybe a couple of weeks right when it had started that I was a little concerned, but then like, it looks good. I love your hair. Like, and everybody always compliments me on my hair, like where I get it done, where I get it cut. People think that I dye it sometimes because it's the gray is so uh, symmetrical. And it's not like speckled. It's it's like uh, I have like you have like accents. I have like political. They call gray it hair. a money piece, babe. When you have the the like right the temples. Yeah, right. The in the front of your at the beginning or at the front of your face. Yeah. Like when girls get their hair dyed blonde, they like normally they'll get what's called a money piece, where it's like right in the front of their face to like make your face stand out more. It doesn't help that I, I mean that I have a great like curl. Somebody kept telling me I look like Clark Kent yesterday because like, my hair was like, like uh, it was like, it was some, something was going on with a curl in the front. I don't know, how, like, I don't know. My hair does whatever the hell it wants. So sometimes I look like Clark Kent. Time me out, please. All right, Mikey, you need the fix? Mikey, this is getting weird. All right, bend over, Mikey. I don't know, Duder. You shouldn't just let him get timed out. If he wants to be timed out, he needs to either be an asshole or spin the wheel like everybody else. This is preferential treatment. Look, I will do anything for Mikey, and you know this. I need, if I need to feed his addiction, I will. Yeah, Clark Kent to Superman, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Because I was wearing glasses, and I had a curl in the front of my head. It was when I didn't have a mustache, though. Mm. I started with a few graves in my 20s and started plucking them out. Now I have about as much as you. I mean, as long as you take care of yourself, gray hair is a plus. It's like, 
it's a, it's a unique trait that like. I will say men tend to get away with it a lot easier than women do. True. Although there are some hot women with gray hair. I know. I think I think it's other women that are much harsher on women for having gray hair. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Mikey. 69 seconds is all you need. Forgive me for asking, however, is that chicken or fish in the pan? Pork. 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 My wife keeps pulling out my grays. Well, it must mean you don't have that many JP McFist, though. That, that works. If it's just a couple, yeah. Trade places! here and uh, I was gonna make I'm just, I'm just gonna make a little I was gonna chop up some onions and do a little soy marinade thing it's Duder ah! what what'd you step on it burned my leg oh my Here. leg Right, there are longer tongs if you want them. Watch out, Duder. Careful. It's so angry. I know. It's what did you angry. say to it? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, I gently placed them. You didn't them. talk about his... No, I didn't talk about anybody's mom. <laughs> OMG, the testosterone. That was a close one, yeah. Uh, Graham, I have a whetstone, but I haven't been using it lately. I've just been using, like, a, a the, the vertical style. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just going to... There's a guy that, like, will put a better edge on it than I can. What is she telling me? It's a, a knife. A guy? How long do you let these cook? Now. They're probably done. Ah. You okay? Why did it... Ed Banger's an ass. He knew I wouldn't like okay, this. Okay, they're, they're a little overdone now. No, they're fine. Babe, the one thing I told you was not to let them burn. They're not burned. Uh-huh. They're toasty. Speechless monks are just using your dick as a spatula. You mean what's under my Separatech underwear? All right. Do I need to like mix these around? I mean, this is a lot of pork. It's a thick batter. Just kind of like shake it off a little bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know what I'm doing. Nice, nice. When we switch places, I, I gain all the wisdom of a nurse. You can be taught. Look, guys, Duder is not a bad cook. I'm just better. You don't have to say it like that. What? Well, no. You're I'm... better at some things. I'm better at omelets. I don't think that's necessarily true. Maybe tortillas. You're going to take that away from me? My one claim to... My... My one claim to fame? You make a great omelet, babe. Yeah, but is it better than yours? You look me in the eyes. You look me in the eyes right now. Oh. Okay. And tell well. me that my omelet is better than yours. 
Okay, look at me. Say it. Because I love you, your omelet is better than mine. Okay, thank you. I've got a dear duder. Yeah. J Flo asks, what makes your omelet better? Well, it's the length of time that I scramble the eggs in the bowl. Actually, to start it off, it's the right bowl size for scrambling the eggs because you need to scramble them hard. Mm. You can't get a tiny mm. little bowl Could you just, oh, oh, to don't scramble don't the eggs. Start with a fridge! Got to get a big bowl, scramble the eggs. You put it in the pan, it's got to be the perfect temperature, perfect amount of oil, uh, then you have to perfect By the way, we've got a posture evenly. check. Yeah. Hold on, let me flip these. Where are the longer tongs? They're, they're in the tong thing. It's sacrificing the egg to the egg gods, yeah. Peter, and you got a photo pose and a posture check. People are really asking a lot of you. Hello, kind of busy. Uh, what, what can I do for you? Yeah, well, um, I called the other day. Uh, I, I called about the fish. This is Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Yeah. How did you call again while I was answering the phone? What do you mean? Aren't you the secretary? Right. You answer the front. I'm the secretary, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What can I do for you today, um, Brenda? Yeah, well, I've been watching, okay, because Oh, you've I, been watching? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm um, really not impressed, all right? So I've been looking and seeing how you've been handling this whole, like, pork situation. And um, I think it'd be a lot better if you weren't drinking while cooking, uh, getting drunk. Okay, okay. Because it's just, like, you know, it's not safe, all right? And, uh, no, there's not even your drink. We kiss. We can share straws, but not toothbrushes, okay? Brenda, what do you want? I just... What? Look, I can see you lurking my in therapist, the chat. My I... therapist says that I just want somebody to listen to me. But to that's... Lick, to lick you? To listen, yeah. Listen. Yeah, they said that, oh, all I need is someone to listen to me. And frankly, I, you know, I just... <clears throat> I'm trying to air my complaints, okay? I feel like... You're just, you're doing it wrong and it's giving me anxiety and if you don't stop, then I'm going to, I'm going to sue for emotional damage. Yeah, well, that's hearsay, okay? So, I'm just going to go. Can't do that. My lawyer will be in, my brother. Objection. In, my, Objection. My, my brother's an attorney. Yeah, and what's your he, brother's name? Uh. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of Ted. a weird name, Brenda. It's it's Ted. Oh, uh, Ted. Ted. Yeah, oh, uh, Ted. And he's gonna he's gonna. Oh, uh, Ted. Yeah, you'll you'll be hearing from him. Don't give him this number, Brenda. Better not give him this number. Of course I'm. No, he's gonna serve you papers. Don't give him our address, Brenda. Brenda. <sighs> Yeah. Cool oh, off, yeah. Okay. Just keep talking. Keep talking, bud. Because the more you say, the more you say, the more, the more, the more I have against you. The, you the know bigger what might the help is, is a tier three sub, Brenda. Get in, get in chat, okay? The, the bigger the bill's gonna be, okay? You keep talking, the more damage, the more you have to pay. Uh. My pork. <laughs> is it burnt? No. It's perfect. I think we need to switch uh -huh. back. Ah, uh, it looks pretty burnt. No, it's fine. That looks burnt. It looks great. All right. Can you turn the pan off? Then we need to have more. Turn the pan off. You need to do a photo pose. Do you have one ready? Uh, nope. You want to get one ready? Mm, let's see, we could do, that'd be fun. Okay, just pick one. 
great great all right let me Anyway. You gotta pick the video. Uh, source. Uh, Not that one. Not the one that at the bottom. One. Uh huh. Make it real big. Nice. Okay, Dooter. So you're gonna look. Do I need to hold something? Yeah, you'll, uh, you, you can... Nice. Okay, other direction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there you go. Hands around it with all your fingertips pointing up and, but turn it more so you can see more of the shell. Maybe like a hand kind of in front of the other, but then split your fingers apart real big between your finger and thumb. Okay, great. Hold it up slightly above your face. But to the, here, I'll move you down. But to the side. Uh-huh. But like, but like, so the, the back of your thumb on your left hand is gonna be touching your lip. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. Okay, now, don't look at me. Look up. That direction. Turn your head slightly more toward the camera. Uh-huh. And now, just really dead fish it. Hold on. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But you gotta hold your hand up with your, with your, uh, your, your the back of your thumbs against your lip. Okay, f fingers up. Uh-huh. Show off the item. And then slightly more towards the camera. And give it a real good dead fish. Nice. Nice. I think I think he got it. I think he got it. Oh, yeah? Beautiful. Okay. Great. Now look in love. Are we all done? Obviously, I'm over here. Oh. Okay. Yay! Nice. Ah. I didn't even touch you! Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> There's Huckleberry, everybody! Dooter. They're gonna taste fine. Crispy pork. Music kill a chat. Welcome to the stream. This is sad. I answered why my omelets were better. Right? It's the, it's the vessel that you scramble the eggs in before you even cook it. And then it's the flip. This just in, Nurse Huckleberry back on stream, but is that a good thing? Let's find out. More with this, Nurse Huckleberry. Uh, I'm back and I am in action. We're gonna make a little uh, green onion salad of sorts to top our plantain and pork. Wow. What? What more do you want? Okay, that's what I'm doing. I mean, I don't... Did you not hear the headline of the story? I, what? No, no. The drama of Nurse Huckleberry being back on stream. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't care what you're actually doing. Oh, right. Right. The drama. That's all you guys expect. You just expect me to be so dramatic. Have you ever thought, maybe? This just in, allegedly drugs found in Nurse Huckleberry's bag that she brought to set today. May or were they planted by one of the cats or did she bring them in herself? I don't know. It was definitely the cats. Bert is boofing as we speak. Really? Do Bert? Hey, whimsical cat.
I was I was enthralled by the boofing. Wait, here we go. <gasps> Is he gonna boof? Oh, he's gonna boof. Rado, can you hold? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see what happens. <laughs> Almost. The Antissa. Oh, Asian. there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the boof. That's a boof. Hello. Hello. Otto, hey. Hello. Hey. Is me? Otto. Is me here? Otto, can you hear me? Yeah. Otto. What was up? Uh, I, was, I was told you wanted to talk about me. What? Like, we've never talked about our relationship, Otto. Right, my, my, we, We've hung my. out. Like, we're planning on hanging out after the show tonight, get a, go get a drink or something, right? I mean, like, I don't know. Well, you said you wanted to. Well, yeah, but then... <laughs> You have a drink right now. Well, yeah, can't I can't even invite me. I'm pre gaming. You don't even like rum. What? How do you know? You told me you like hurricanes. Yeah, what's your drinking? These are hurricane glasses, but I don't know. Nurse made it up. Nurse, what's in this? It's, it's, got, it's got rum and well, pineapple. Tell Otto. Otto, it has rum and pineapple and Otto, banana. Paying attention, Otto. It's got rum. And pineapple and banana and some lemon. No, oh, this sounds good. Well, try it, Otto. Just try it. It's fine. You can use my straw. Slow down, Otto. You're gonna get brain freeze. You're gonna get brain freeze. Otto. Oh, God. You're gonna get brain freeze. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh. Otto, are you okay? No, I feel better now. You feel okay? I mean, you are cold blooded, right? So it doesn't it shouldn't affect you that much. Yeah, it's okay. Nurse is okay. Uh, Dude, I don't know if you know. I've got hot oil on the stove. Can we? I, I, Otto, can you tell me a thing or two about hot oil? Why is it important that I that we that should move on? That wasn't a question people wanted to know. They want to know what Otto's favorite thing was about you, Duder. Oh, is that what we were doing, Otto? What is your what what is it? Oh, I'm, I'm curious now. Otto. What what's your what's your favorite thing about me? Well, it was you always invited me over for a drink, but um. The nurse shared her drink with me. No, mm, I guess I'll have to figure out something else. Well, you want to try mine? No. What? Mine tastes better. Fine. My favorite thing about Duder is, um, uh, can, can you look at me real quick? You just... what? what? No, what, what? Why are you so close? What are you going to do? I'm just trying to get a good look. Look at who? Who are we looking at? He's You're looking got, at me? Yeah, he's got a good nose. That's that's my favorite part. Okay. So. Otto, I, I gotta get going, bud. Uh, which... Bert's waiting, Otto. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, Otto. Bye. Everyone give it up for Otto. Is it a pina colada? Uh, kinda? It's it's. It said there's no there's no coconut cream in it. There's coconut rum. There's coconut rum. Ice Wayne's welcome to the chats. Holy Frankula, welcome back. I used a frozen banana. Did boop? Did Bort boof? I think yeah, Bort, you boof and you're all good now. Like what? He does look a little high. No, not look up high. 
You look high. Kitty Key Boosh, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's got banana, it's got uh, spiced rum, coconut, coconut rum, rum, lemon, lemon. Okay. 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 Let me just real quick. A little sauce action for this. Wow, that's an aggressive sauce action. Calm down. Okay. You, do we need to so aggressively make sauce. Well, I'm trying to make it quickly. It's quick, aggressive doesn't mean quick. No, not Captain Morgan's. We have uh, the Kraken. Kraken. I actually, I like Kraken rum. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I laughed so hard, I almost cried at Otto. You know, Otto is quickly becoming one of my favorite parts of the stream. I don't know if you, if anyone watches the YouTube edits, like I always love editing the Otto parts because I don't really have to edit them because they're so well-timed because Otto is a comedic genius. Otto is a comedic genius. Like not, he's, he, you know, he's a professional chef first, but he's an entertainer second. Um, what else wrong for this? I don't know. I do know. Bird, do you know? Do you know what else I should put in this? Toast, no jam. What were you doing? Bring in the. Ow! I poked myself with my toothpick umbrella. Bring in the people. What are you up to? You know, we play jellyfish jam when plain toast, no jam comes in because, you know, they come without the jam, so we gotta add it. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta supply. It's okay, I mean. Hey, you don't play toast, no jam. It's good to see ya. Welcome, Choo Choo Warrior Off. Rageous, DJ U-Turn, Missy Lynn, and others. Kubi Slayer. Oh yeah. Hi yeah. Oh yeah. Hi yeah. Bert, how do you feel about the raid? Well, maybe we should run the intro for all of our new friends. Let's do it. Okay, we'll be back in 60 seconds. This will explain everything about the stream. If, if Plain Toast No Jam didn't already do yeah, that. Yeah, I know, they probably didn't. It's me, Johnny Two Dicks, coming to you here from my taco truck in Burbank. You know, people are always asking me, why are my tacos so good? You know what I tell them? I tell them practice. You know what I mean. I've been eating tacos all my life. Let me show you how it's done. One taco, por favor. Hey, Greasy, get a close-up of this one. Let me show you how we do it in the biz. 
Johnny Two Dicks Tacos in Burbank. On the corner of 3rd and Delaware, right across the street from the high school. Wednesday on an all new Bork Cop. <gasps> Will Bort Cop be able to prove his innocence? Bort Cop. This is going to be a lot of paperwork. Special guest Johnny Two Dicks on a brand new episode of Bort Cop. Welcome, friends. Plainto Snow Jam and the Jammies. Is that is that what we're calling them, Bert? Can we, can we call them the Crumpets? The Crumpets. Welcome to the stream. Would you tell them about Johnny Two Dicks? Is that what you wanted to see it? And Pretty Yogi, thank you so much for the bits. Base Bernie, good to see you. Officer Rando's asking, how long did it take to get Bort to look at the camera? Uh, not that long. He does it pretty quick. He kind of just looks at it because I think mostly because it some some of them move. Bad board, bad board. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? The only problem is Bort is the popo. Yeah. Bort is Bort cop. Uh, actually, if you could move just a little bit to the right, uh, we could see what's behind Bert. Uh, what does that say there? What does that say, Bert? Bert, has it been three days since you pooped on the floor? Wow. wow. Three days, Bert. Bert, it seems really convenient that you've placed yourself directly in front of Yeah, why of are you that. covering the number, Bert? Hmm? Why are you covering the number? Wow. That's a little, that's a little sus, Bert. I think Bort Cop was framed. There was a second shooter. You know, I, you gotta wait till Wednesday to find out. Shark on the fruit! New favorite stream? Nice. This is the best stream. Best scripted show, at least. Look, if you came here from Plain Toast and you said that right in front of them, I'm going to be really upset. Look, I mean, you know, maybe we're the, the for their favorite in the specific category. You know, that's, that's fair, because we're not a gaming stream. So if you're here for gaming, this ain't it. Okay. Barry Rhubarb! This is not the place if you're wanting to watch people play games. I wonder if you Except think... mind games. You say mind games? Yeah. What kind of mind games are you playing? I don't None. get brain. Oh, Bert, are you playing mind games? Yeah. Who do you think could have? Like, who's on the list of who could frame Bort Cop, Ian Bort Cop, and killing the character played by the infamous Johnny Two Dicks? On the new episode of Bork Cop, I don't know. Um, only on the BCC. I mean, I've heard that there's somebody who's trying to blackmail Bert, and that we'll be finding out about that. You know, Bert, are you gonna do any like, like media press or anything like uh, to to promote the show or? You know, there is that interview from Johnny. Yeah. Uh, were you planning on showing that that Johnny interview after? Or uh, or are we still waiting? Because I mean, no, we haven't met the sub goal. Yeah, I guess we could wait till the sub goal. I mean, that was your plan last week was to wait till the sub goal to show that that Johnny interview, but new nod. Welcome to the stream, Marine Facts. <laughs> Dealer's choice, I guess. Let's go. Back. Burn my bananas. Um. Well. Combustible head, I guess that does it. Uh, Where the hell did you come from? Bro? Bro. You just been waiting? No, they've gifted before. No, I know, but like just waiting in the shadows for us to be like, oh, well, maybe we'll do this or the sub goes meant. You're like, hold on. You're like, hold my beer. Hold my beer. I got this. Thank hold you, combustible beer. head. Yeah. Uh, they've gifted 31 subs. And a hype train? All right, well, let me ready the Johnny Two Dicks interview. It's... Uh, yeah, while well, I tell you a marine fact. Okay. Um, uh, just, 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 you're gonna have to tell with normal music, because I'm gonna be in the other room for a second. I gotta get it off the computer. Tell the marine fact. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. 
You know what? I missed one about kelp earlier, so I'll tell you an interesting kelp marine fact. Um, so, uh, giant kelp, macrocystis, um, holy underscore frankula, sheared x500. Holy frankula, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. We'll do a, we'll do a wheel spin in a minute. Um, so giant kelp can grow as much as three feet in a day with optimal, uh, optimal conditions. Um, and currently... Conditions are not particularly optimal, and urchins are taking over, so kelp forests are at risk. Um, we had issues in Southern California with kelp forests, and this is one of my favorite facts, back in the 60s, because they were just like, hey, how about we just dump raw sewage into the near shore ocean? That sounds cool. And then uh, it turns out not cool. Turns out sea urchins, which are primary predators, uh, or foragers on kelp uh yeah it turns out they can just absorb nutrients just like through their skin what so yeah so these sea urchins are just seriously slurping up our poops slurping up the poop of the people started like growing like crazy killing everything running high on human poops wait are we playing right, right now yeah i'm playing okay so they, so right, you got these stoked urchins. Holy shit, we're at level four hype train. I was only gone for like one minute. Oh, uh, we owe a wheel spin. And two wheel spins. Two wheel spins. Cranky Ray's in town. Hey, that pink guy. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, uh, my cox. Should I just sauce all of this? Just sauce all of it. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't until they figured out why the urchins were going insane, because it was killing all the kelp forests. Time out a friend! that they decided to uh, maybe make the pipe go offshore and they like extended the pipe by like two miles ah. offshore and then suddenly Plain it fixed the problem because they weren't dumping poop on the urchins, making them grow super big. Well, wow. Uh, just, to, just to stop you right there real quick. Holy Frankula, if you have a friend in chat or if you'd like to make one, pick someone to time out for also, 69 seconds. Uh, if you don't have one already, Mikey is a complete sadist. He will yeah, he, if you grovel out, at your you know, feet he'll, he'll for be, timing out. Yeah, he'll be good. He'll love it. All right, this one's for Cranky Ray. Ooh. The illustrious social media post. What are you gonna right. post about today? All right. Any ideas, Cranky Ray? What should, what should we post? Troy Adams says, uh, so thankful for those marine biology tapes. They yeah, are you've been, you been using them? I think we're almost, we almost sold out. Nurse gonna tweet? Am I supposed to tweet? What am I, what am I doing? Yeah, tweet something. Tweet something. Yeah, make a funny tweet joke. Counts three R zero, cheered X 300, choo choo. Exactly, robot. What the fuck, bro? Shark All right, another wheel spin. Shark on the fridge. Shark on the wait, wait. fridge. Whose who's wheel spin was the uh... Cranky Ray? Add an egg. Brad. Wow, what good timing to add an egg. Thanks, Exactly, robot. We got an egg on the way. Did it upload? Oh, no, nope, not yet. Okay, still uploading. So close to level five. Count Zero, thank you so much for the bits. Hexagonal Robot, Plain Toast No Jam with the bits. That pink guy, follow. Thanks for the follow. Holy Frankula, Cranky Ray, Mike Cox with the I bits. I tweeted. Nice. Very good job. Combustible Head, thanks again for all the subs. You freak. You freak. You freak. Freak a leak. Hydrate. My cox cheered X100. I've been here most of the night. That was my part according to the script. You're right, Hexagonal Robot. Oh, we got to level five. Uh, I did in fact tweet that. What did so. you tweet? It said Cranky Ray spun the wheel and all he got was his lame tweet. 
<laughs> what a lame tweet. And then I said, still live. Balance board. Now the wheel spins are coming in. Soup? Mike Cox with more bits. Whimsical Cat with more bits. J Flow, that's that's for you. This is for you. The oh, balance board for J Flow. This is a bad time to pour soup. <laughs> yeah, is it? It's a bad time to pour soup. Well, it's a hilarious uh. time to pour soup. <laughs> that pink guy, thanks for the sub. But seriously, though, with the prime sup, huckle fucks. Huckle fucks. You doing okay over there? Oh, careful. <laughs> careful. Don't drop it. Oh, God. <laughs> no! This, this is the best use of the balance board I think we've ever had. It's like the, the worst soup to do it Because you need to, to be spinning with. at the same time and pouring hot liquid. Yeah. And a wheel spin redemption from Pinball 68 Box. Yeah. Emote only. Oh. Well, let's see some emotes, guys. <laughs> if we can hype up the hype train, can we hype up the emotes? I don't know. Can we? Are you okay with this? Bert, no, it's okay. You doing okay there? Uh huh. Bert, stop licking me! <laughs> I'm busy, Bert! <laughs> Bert, you're gonna make me pee my pants! All right, you let me know when you want to watch the Johnny interview. So Johnny, uh, who's your... I think we're pretty ready. Your... Yeah? Yep. Oh, fuck, I need to do an egg too. Yeah, you got an egg, add an egg on there. Egg, get an egg on there. Joe Mober, welcome to the stream. DJ U-Turn. I like those emotes. Those are good emotes. All right, we can turn off the emote only. this full screen. There we go. That was the egg. Eggs are doing good. Eggs are cracked. Eggs are cooking. Who's ready for the exclusive behind the scenes interview with Johnny Two Dicks from the thing that we shot with Johnny Two Dicks? Hype train complete! Woo! Well, why don't you just show it full screen and I'll take pictures? Okay.
So Johnny, uh, it was your is your first time starring uh, as, a, as a supporting role on on Bort Cop? We've got we got Bert Bert here uh, doing an excellent job as Bort. Uh, could you could you tell us a little bit about your part? About my what? Uh, about your about your your about role. My part? It's yeah. uh, pretty big. Um, yeah, but anyway, it's probably the most important role in my life after that uh, commercial we did a while back. But, uh, you know, pool. Pool's nice. Yeah? Uh, I noticed that, uh, is that some, uh, Separatech you got under oh, yeah. your shorts? I mean, it was, uh, pretty important for me to keep my dick away from my balls during the shoot. Because I'm actually doing a different shoot after this. Do my right should be any minute. Oh, all right. Well, well, we'll let you go, Johnny. You have a, you have a good time. Hey, next time, can we get the fluffers in this? The who? The fluffers. that Johnny give it up for Johnny man <laughs> got a late gifted sub who gets it who's gifted subs now shit the real bonk man gifted a sub to ice wines damn okay and a shrimps and a ring cam Whoopsie. Well, I think it's. Did you take pictures? I did. My wow! Oh, no, Bert. No, Bert. <sighs> Pick a chair, Bert. Yeah, the Emmy nominated episode of Board Cop. Pretty excited right now. What, you bringing it all the way over here? Well, you know, it's got the soup on it. You don't trust me? It's very staining of soup. Ooh, that's pretty though. That's pretty soup. That's pretty though. Bert. That's pretty though. Bert, go in your seat. Yeah, that one's yours, Bert. It has your name on it. Well, how does how did everyone's turn out at home? What is this white stuff you put in here? Uh, cream, like the the Mexican style, El Salvadorian style crema. Oh hell yeah, dude! That's some good soup right there. Hmm. I thought you had a ring door cam aimed at the rock outside? No. That'd be funny though. You break open this egg? You outdid yourself here. No, oh, I overdid the egg, but. It's okay, I overdid the pork. It all still tastes good. Oh, pork little plantain. I'm so grumpy tail, Bert. Yeah, he's staying out of shot, but he he knows. Mmm. That sauce you put on there is really good too. Ah, turned out great. Mm-hmm. 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 Sorry, well, Bragg's amino acids. Um, a little tahini, some toasted sesame oil. Mm. 
sesame seed. I ended up using white wine vinegar because I didn't have any rice wine vinegar. It works. And then green onion. And a little squeeze of lemon on the top. Mm. Mm-hmm. Man, I didn't realize how hungry I was. I know. Yeah, Bert. Mr. Sportsman. Everything looks good. Beet soup is new to me, though. Anything, Anything special, special in it? Um, this is beet and potato. You know, I was gonna put ginger in here, and I forgot. There's no ginger in it. I just beet potato. I roasted some garlic and the oil in the bottom of the pan first, and then just potatoes and beets and onion. Mm -hmm. And then chicken stock. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of blend, and some crema on top. A uh, win in my book. It's good. Right, Bert? If I cared and wanted it to be like really smooth, I could put it through a chinois. Which we don't have. Which we don't have, and I don't care. So. Beat your potato with the ginger. <laughs> this pork is for sure like not, it doesn't remind me of tempura, but. I like the texture of the batter. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like chewy. Ripper. Sorry, you're mad. What's he mad about? I didn't give him any treats yet. He has been kind of patient. Don't worry, Bert. We'll do tricks tonight. Okay. Okay, I promise. Mm. You know, I kind of just divvied him up, wasn't paying attention, and then just gave him a plate. So, we'll see. I kind of ended up over toasting the plantain when I was warming him back up. No. At this point, it all just tastes good. Are beets savory? Yeah. They can kind of go both ways, though. Yeah, they can kind of go both ways. You can make it sweet. Because they do have quite a bit of sugar in them, but uh, they tend to, they're very earthy, so you can easily go very savory. Or if you want to go sweet, it's harder to go sweet. I've made uh, cocktails with beets in them before. Oh, I'm almost already out of pork. Let me try dipping it in the soup. I did talk about doing that. but it's not my favorite. I feel like they're better separate. It is not an improvement to dip. Yes, yeah, says you. You think it's an improvement to dip? You didn't dip that bite. Oh, I'm lazy. I would say if you didn't sauce them up, I'd definitely be dipping everything. Yeah. But since you made a sauce. I'm not in love with you, Beach. Welcome to the stream. Meow, wow, wow. I feel like I recognize your name, though. 
It was a very similar name. Oh, Yogurt. Oh. Yeah, that's a sign of a good dinner is when everybody's just quiet because we're eating. Yeah, it's like a, the, you know, the excitement, the thrill. We've come to an end of the cooking journey. And we get to reap the benefits. I'm glad people finally got to see that interview. Yeah. It was kind of a last minute thing, spur of the moment. Bert, where do you want to go to do your tricks? Bert, where do you want to go? Mm. Mm. Really? Okay. okay. So he's saying either a sugar beet factory Uh -huh. Or a soup kitchen. Interesting choices, Bert. Okay. Bert, those are... I mean... Do you eat this glamorously off stream? Um, kind of, yeah. It depends. I probably wouldn't have made the... Well, I have made soups just for us. Yeah. It's very similar. I don't take as long to make them, though. No. No, I, I cook significantly faster. I mean, I'd say that I would, as long as we're not super hungry, I will regularly spend an hour cooking dinner so that it's a like delicious dinner. You know. Hey, it's Slaytanic Cowboy. Slaytanic. Um, but like you know, I'd I'd say like sometimes I'll spend an hour cooking to make something particularly yummy if I'm feeling inspired. But also, I'm normally doing kind of like other stuff throughout the cooking process. I might not be like, you know, here, if I put something in the oven, then I'm doing something else in here. But if it's like, if it's just for us, then I'll go sit on the couch and watch TV while it's in the oven. Thanks, Spud Chukowski. Yeah, uh, turn the notifications on. That goes for everybody. We stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a it's it's a scripted show, so it, it never we never miss a day. Unless. Right, you're supposed to say unless. Right, say unless. Right, say say unless. Bruh. Oh, wow! Shwing. How you doing tonight, Lieutenant Cowboy? And Jehudi. My cooking skill is 10, so I just make breakfast food. I mean, I love breakfast food. Welcome back, Bazooka Joe. I think the real thing, Jehudi, is 10 out of what? Like 10 year old, 10 out of 100. I'm assuming it's 10 out of 10. Kiki with the meows. What are you doing, Kiki? It's so funny. Kiki looks so much smaller than Bert right now. But they weigh the same amount. Bert weighs more. Yeah, what, well, like one pound? No, well, for a cat, that's a lot. It's like 10 pounds. No, Kiki weighs 14.6 pounds. She weighed on, she weighed herself on the scale the other day. <laughs> Kiki's a weirdo. Wow. What's up, Kiki? All right, did we find a spot for Bert's tricks? Oh, yeah. I, I called ahead so they know you're coming. Nice. Nice. Um, they just wanted uh, the cats to be... They can't... They can't get too overwhelmed with the beats. 
and just kind of stay within, like, with the guide. Right. Right. Okay. Were you ready? No, not you, Kiki. It's time! Oh, the yoga mat's on the floor. That's fine. Because we're stretching. Moving out of the way. It's time for the only trained cat on Twitch, plus Kiki, to do tricks on the only scripted show on Twitch during e that's loud. During emote only. Lambert. Get on the stool. Thank so you. make sure to share your favorite emotes. Yeah. To make sure that Bert feels encouraged to do the tricks. Come on, Kiki. He needs he needs all the emotes. He needs all of them. All the emotes. Nice. Now those are some good emotes. Bert, Bert. I'm gonna need you in your place, please. Bert, can you the emotes are coming, Bert. Come on, Bert. Not wasting the emotes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bert, I got pork juice on my lips. It's gonna be sticky. Kiki, watch out. Kiki, oh my god, you're so slow. Move, Kiki. <laughs> More emotes. More emotes, Bert. Oh, Bert, you're too big. You, got, you guys gotta <laughs> back up a little bit. Bert. There we go. Nice. Great. Get it, Bert. Hey. Get it, Bert. Oh, yeah, those are some emotes. No, Brad's not sound. You need emotes, not words. Ooh. Get it, Kiki. No, don't, don't drop it. Kiki. North Cat, what's going on? Oh. Don't get distracted, Bert. Don't get distracted by the food, Bert. All right, so behind you, you're going to see a very snowy uh, beet farm. Wow. They're telling wow. me uh, that you're going to be entering into the beet piling area. There they are. Okay, watch out behind you. Where the oh, wow. Wow. The Look at all those beets. are getting washed. So just be careful behind you to wow. flip. Yeah, wow, lots They're of They're letting you walk amongst the beats, which is nice. It's not usual they let you do this, but I told them that you were famous, so. Right. So they're, they're like, oh, You man. know, I've always wanted to walk amongst the beats. Yeah, they're like, oh, man, a famous person coming to walk in the beats, and we're going to put him in a beat for him. So they're, they're pretty excited. Stand up, Kiki. Okay, Bert, show her how it's done. Stand up. Oh, wow. Whoa, Bert. All right, Kiki. Kiki, get it, Kiki. Come on. Nice job, Kiki. Kiki! All right, Kiki. Wait, how do we end up in the circus? Ow. All right, Kiki. Time for Kiki to move onto the floor. You did a great job, Kiki, but go away. All right, it's time for the grand finale. <laughs> Mysterious stranger, how you Ready, doing? Bird? North cut, good to see you. Spin. You jump. Whoa, Bert, those are clean jumps right there. All right, Bert. Watch out, there's a, there's, a, there's a processing machine behind you. This is the this is for all Jump the, out of the way, Bert. It's for all the tricks. Oh my god! Bert, you, you're the fucking cats, a daredevil cat. Give it up for the cats, everybody. Man, those are some highly trained cat right there. Highly trained cat. Yeah. I mean, Kiki's doing a good job, okay? Ah, she's moderately trained, you know. She's been trying hard. Well, I think we've exhausted all of our resources. Matt Kite, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing tonight? 
thanks everybody for, for all the support tonight. It's always fun to see friends. It's fun to see strangers. It's fun to make new friends. New friends. Art. Well, let's see. Who's online right now? Emote only is off, by the way. If anyone wants to type. All right, it looks as though... Birch and Jesseron. Birch and Jesseron. Uh, Andy Ray Cosplay. Got Muffin Button. Marvelous, darling. Simply marvelous. Marvelous. Any nice ladies? Uh, Jess is a nice lady. That's true. We haven't got a person Jess in a while. Final answer? Yeah, let's go to person Jess. Final answer? Maybe I need to type the right the right thing. Uh, make sure to ask Burks what kind of sandwiches he's serving today. Yeah. For and Jess. Why, and why he's not in uniform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, why well, he's not in uniform. For, and what kind of sandwiches he's serving. For those that don't know, the Nice Lady Club is a Twitch family. Twitch team. Team. And uh, it's, it's comprised of nice ladies on Twitch with their male servants that wear maid uniforms and serve them little tea cakes and sandwiches and tea. Mm-hmm. So... Make sure that Burks knows his place. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am the leader of the Nice Lady Club. You can uh, check chairman, out- Chairman, I think is the- uh... Yeah, I'm the, 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 the team starter. You can check out all the Nice Ladies by looking at the Nice Lady Club. Nice Lady Love. Uh, at twitch.tv slash team slash Nice Lady Love. Nice Lady Love. Yeah, board is 100% treat motivated. Kiki's like, whatever. All right, we will see you on Sunday. Whoops, I just closed the credits. Bye, everybody. Just roll the outro. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm doing it. Achoo! Oh, come on, you can't. Achoo! Achoo! Uh. We can maybe do an omelet challenge one of these days. Maybe when uh, Mitch Brzezzi comes into town. Ooh. I mean, he's in town kind of right now, but when we hang out. Uh-huh. You think he can make an omelet? I don't know. I don't okay. know that he can make omelets. I mean, there's only one way to find out. That's true. It's very true. <laughs>